friends, hey girlies. I'm back with another video. So pretty. <laughs> Thank pretty. you. So pretty. Stop. Well, Thank you. Well, I did it. Nothing. I can't see you pretty. <laughs> you don't want the people in the world to think you're pretty? When as, she has lip gloss on, she like taps me. As you can see, um, this is a different video. I do have my hubby here with me. Um, and we spoke about this for a little while because we weren't sure if we wanted to share and we came to the conclusion that we did. Um, so we just wanted to take you guys through our fertility journey. <laughs> so, um, as you know, Dee and I have been married for a year now. Um, we got married last year, July. If you don't know, jump in my videos, it's there. I also tag it down in um, the description box. But yeah, so we've been married a year um, and we spoke about having little ones. So um, I've been on birth control for quite a while. I would say maybe three years prior to us getting married. Yeah. And, um, you know, we always had the conversation of stopping birth control once we get married. So I decided to stop, I would say two months before our actual wedding because I didn't want to stop too soon because I didn't want to be pregnant during the wedding and you know that's just a whole dress, new dress new yeah. sizing right that's a whole other issue so we said let's do it as close as possible so therefore you know once we get married right away we wanted to expect baby so um we did that um had a great honeymoon had trips after that everything and yeah we was you know, doing the thing and sure for babies. Yeah, and um like nothing was happening. Was I worried at first? No. Everybody just kept telling me, you know, with time. And you know, as time started to progress, I was just like, you know, something's up. Like I need to know what is going on. So um made an appointment with my GYN and yeah, went and you know, she just ran the basic tests, um, pap smear, you know, testing for STDs and those things and just told me like, yeah, you're healthy. Um, you'll have a baby soon, just like with time. So I took that, I said, okay, at least I got checked up and you know. So again, once the work was going by and I'm like, listen, like, <laughs> we need a baby. Like, we really want a baby. So I went back in again for another visit. And um, this was maybe three months after the first visit. And she was just like, you know what? Um, we're going to put you on birth control. And I was like, mm. she was like, yeah, because if you go on birth control for three months, once you're off, then boom, you'll be pregnant. So that just didn't sound right. it didn't so, right. it didn't sit right at all. She gave me the prescription. I went to pick it up, everything. I never took it because it just didn't make sense. Like I was on it for so long. Why? So I just never did it. Mm -hmm. When I noticed I wasn't getting any help from her, I then went and said, you know what? I need to see an actual fertility specialist. Yeah. So um, babe and I sat down and we spoke. And I made the first appointment and we went together and we went in for a consult and we just told him everything that we've been going through and our experience. And he was so nice. Old man, like just the sweetest. And right away he said, well, listen, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And we're going to do this. So right away I felt comfortable. Like 
it wasn't just the regular testing. It was like different testing. Like now we're gonna do the ultrasound. Now we're gonna see what's going on with the eggs. We're gonna see, you know, ovaries, the ovaries everything. The tubes, everything. Yes. Check yeah. everything. So um, after our consultation, we went back um, the following week for our first appointment and he did an ultrasound and um, from the ultrasound, he said, everything looks good. And then he said, um, it could be maybe clogging of your tissues, mm -hmm. of your tubes. tubes yeah. So, um, you know, we as women, like tampons, all those things, he said, you know, it's just always good to just like flush your tubes and like, like reset basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, that sounds good. Um, and he said, what you're going to do is an HSG exam. HSG. Yeah, exam. HSG. Yeah. S Once he said it, I started just researching. Like, yeah. <laughs> everything he, he was saying some names. I was like, can you spell that? <laughs> Google. And I was just looking at everything. I was on top of it. Like, yeah, he was asking everything. He was asking more questions than I was. I was just laying there looking like, and he's like, all right, what does that mean? What does that mean on the screen? I, wanted to, but, I really want, like, yeah. I just wanted to make, like, you know, saying all these words, you're not going to let that go over my head. All right. I'm going to figure that out. Yeah. And, um, just I'm, extra I'm supportive. I'm a fertility doctor now. <laughs> you know, I know, I know. Just very, um, you know, just very supportive. So yeah, he said you're gonna have an HSG exam. So I said, okay, cool. He said, um, it would have to be once your period is over, the once cycle. your cycle is <laughs> over. Sorry. <laughs> once your cycle is over, it would have to be between the it was five and seven yeah, so basically like, like seven yeah so i went like i could you can't be spotting anything you have to yeah so went in for that um um the day of the appointment it was at 8 a.m of course we went together i was so nervous yeah. like i'm just like i don't know what to expect like is this gonna hurt am i okay I just, you know, didn't know. So we went there um, because of all the radiation and, you know, the x-rays and stuff. He wasn't able to come back with me and do the test. But they did tell me, um, you know, it's just the exam only takes 10 minutes. Yeah. So I was like, okay. I thought he was going to be in there for like an hour or something. Right. I bought like books and <laughs> Right. So went back um the sweetest nurse oh my god brianna 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 sweetest 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 girl um made me feel extra comfortable spoke to me let me know all the details about what was gonna happen what to, what to expect um even while during um the exam she was right there right over my head like you're fine you're okay just really holding my hand through everything really just like taking his place um so, <laughs> so that felt good so what they did was they um they inject this red dye up your tubes just to make sure that you're flowing and there are no rips or anything in your tubes um and also they also flush them flush them and open them up yeah so pain one to ten I, I it wasn't much pain i would say more pressure you know it's just a little discomfort some you know being inside there but um it's so quick that you don't really sit there and you know you're like oh but um yeah so they went into the exam right up right away they tell you um your results and the doctor he came right up and was like you know this is a great exam. Like everything looks good. You're now ready for baby. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, so 
creating this something like the future for that just made me extremely happy because um you know i think she she feels like you know i think part of her feels i mean part of her knows that she was like meant to be a mom she's so good with kids she takes everybody else's kids everybody else's kids latch on to her and um you know that's always a scary thing for a woman when they feel like maybe they can't so i guess to hear that was like tears of joy you know so. And then it's like, you think about this and you know, we've been married, we've been love, we've been in love for so long. And, and it's just like, he gives me everything in this world. Like, why can't I just give him a baby? So, yeah. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, hearing those words made me happy and everything. Um, and just knowing, because I was going through this for a long time not knowing. Yeah. Um, and because I was just so nervous about bad news, so that just kept me away from going. So um, I would recommend any like ladies out there if you don't know or you're struggling with this like knowing is always best like always just make the appointment um because it does help it, it helps a hundred a hundred percent and um of course support having a support system is major key like major key, major key. <laughs> major key. So yeah, now that we know everything, um, and then again, I thought I was like the only person like struggling with something like this. And you never really know until you do your research and ask questions. And it's like, you know, I'm really not the only one. So that really makes me feel better. And you know, now just, you know, hopefully the next practice, time. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> <laughs> now, hopefully the next time you see us, um, We'll say. I have some good news. Yep. Great news. Ready for the big shower.